The next part of this lecture talks about conjugate acid-base pairs with respect to the Bronsted definition. Here is the last reaction that we stopped with. HClO2 is clearly the acid in this reaction, and the conjugate base, which we have deprotonated, is ClO2 1 minus. Hydroxide is clearly the base in this reaction, and water, which we have protonated, is the acid. Acid-base reactions are made up of two conjugate acid-base pairs. One pair is the HClO2 and ClO2-1-. The other pair is listed acid first, water, and hydroxide. Conjugate acid-base pairs differ by a hydrogen ion, an H1+. Here is another example of a conjugate acid-base pair, HClO3 and the chlorate ion. You notice once again the hydrogen is bonded to the oxygen, and if we remove an H1+, we call this deprotonation. We are going to remove a hydrogen and make the charge more negative by one. So that is exactly what we've done here. You notice that the hydrogen has been removed, and instead of zero, we have a minus one. Here is another conjugate acid-base pair. Maybe you recognize this as the acetate ion, C2H3O2-1 minus. This material is a base, and when we protonate it, we get the conjugate acid. This is known as protonation. We add a hydrogen and make the charge more positive by one. So you notice we have added a hydrogen right here, and we've made the charge more positive by one to give this zero charge. Now you may be wondering, why are the hydrogens separated? Why are there one hydrogen in front and three hydrogens that are integrated into the formula? The three hydrogens are the ones bound to carbon. This is not a particularly polar bond, and these are not acidic hydrogens. There is only one acidic hydrogen. That is the one here, which is bonded to the oxygen. One more thing about the acetate ion and acetic acid, sometimes you see them written in a way that indicates how the bonds are arranged. So instead of seeing C2H3O2-1-, you might see CH3COO-1-. That's another way to write it, which shows that the molecule has a CH3 group, and a COO1 minus group. You might see this written as the acid in a different way. It's a similar idea. We have the CH3 group and we have a COOH. Here's an ion that you've drawn before, the sulfate ion. And here's an acid where we've added two protons. Are these a conjugate acid base pair? Do they differ by one proton? Well, no, they differ by two protons. So this brings up another vocabulary word. HSO4 1 minus can be protonated to give the conjugate acid or deprotonated to give the conjugate base. So we call this material amphiprotic. It functions as both an acid and a base. Here's another very special amphiprotic material for you. Water is amphiprotic. It can be protonated to give the hydronium ion or deprotonated to make hydroxide. So here is a question for you. What is the conjugate acid of the chlorate ion? Whenever you want the conjugate acid, you want to protonate, which means add an H+. How about the conjugate base of water? For this, you need to deprotonate, which means removing an H1+. Here's another one. 
what is the conjugate acid of sulfide? So of course we need to protonate and only do that one time. And finally, what is the conjugate base of HSO3 1 minus? I'm sure you know you need to deprotonate. 